Okay. So, now to the fun part. What I did was I used the Harvest uh, Frozen Right modular molds. And I'm going to use part of them to make just a small grid. Because what I wanted to do was take individual little squares and I thought I'd do individual portions. So if I just want a little bit of mayonnaise to put on my bread, I just take one of these squares and add it, add some water to it, and I should be able to make some uh, mayonnaise. So I want to pack most of these away, just so they don't absorb air while we do our test. These are pretty delicate, as expect I expected them to be. I'm going to take leave two squares so that I can reconstitute it for my sandwich. And then I'm going to seal these up. And I'll leave three squares. And I shouldn't imagine it's going to take a lot of water on that. No and it crumbles into a powder real easily so I don't need to put this through the blender which I was wondering if I would have to and don't take much water at all I might have put too much in there but I'm not going to open that vacuum seal bag I just did again No, it's just a splash of water because that was three of those little cubes. It smells like mayonnaise. I'm going to let that sit for a minute. And here's some roast beef that I did before this load. I was going to do that on a plate, but I think I'll do it in the bowl. Roast beef and gravy. Put some hot water on that. I ain't worried about too, having too much. First thing I notice on this is the uh, really get a good smell of roast beef on that, I tell you. Definitely got a good smell of roast beef. And that pretty much looks like it almost might be rehydrated already. Flip it over. All I did was add some hot water to the roast beef and some cold water to my mayo. Let's see if I can get that in camera. See what that looks like. Make me a knife. Get all that good goodness off that spoon. Let's spread it on my my bread. Okay, I want to do that in camera for you.
Now if I was putting this in one of my MREs, I could put those cubes in a little pouch. One of my very smaller pouches, add some water to that, mix it all up in the pouch and then squirt it out just like a pouch of mayonnaise. But there you go, it's all spread on there. Let's throw a piece of roast beef on that sucker. Nice lettuce. Oh yeah. The top sandwich. Let's see what this tastes like. Mm, mm -mm. I am impressed. I think next time I would use four, at least four of those little squares. But really, when I made it up on that tray, I didn't fill it the whole half inch. If I filled those trays to a half inch high height, I could probably get away with two. But the consistency of this is much like mayonnaise and tastes like mayonnaise. It's got a slight taste of cheese to it, but not much. I'm really happy with that and it certainly makes a nice roast beef sandwich mm, mm -mm. Mm, mm. that is good well I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you try that uh, mayonnaise alternative because it freeze dries very well. You don't have to worry about the oil and all that. You can play with the flavors if you like. Just taste it before you uh, freeze it and get it to the flavor you like. I just used a mayonnaise recipe for making your homemade mayonnaise but omitted the egg yolk and omitted the oil. Everything else I used the same and then I used one brick of uh, cream cheese and then I ended up having to add a quarter a cup of uh, milk just to make that thin enough to, to look like uh, mayonnaise. And it tastes delicious. It's definitely got the mayonnaise flavor. Hope you enjoyed it hope I inspire you you know on all my videos I hope I inspire you to try new things if you got one of these freeze dryers you got a beautiful thing and you want to put it to good use so try some stuff I'll see you next time